Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Biome Exile SMP. It's been a little while since we have been on the server, I will fully admit, and the reason for that is because of the Lord of the Rings Online Fall Festival has started, that takes up two weeks, and there's a lot of stuff, the villager there, a lot of stuff going on with that whole thing, so... Uh, that and some other things have been taking a lot of my time, but I thought we'd get back and actually do some stuff here. Um, can't promise that this is going to be the longest video in the world because, again, a lot of things require a lot of planning in behind and I need a lot of resources and I haven't got those things. Um, and uh, the one thing I did want to do, unfortunately, was completely ruined by, I think, 1.9 or 1.10. Uh, so I have to find a workaround for that, but before we get into the, to actually what we're doing today, I thought we'd do a little bit of a look around, because while I haven't been on in a little while, I haven't recorded in a little while, the time in between the last recording and this one, I was in fact doing some stuff in this area. And the main thing I actually did was, well, two things. One is I have been AFKing uh, here, that is quite obvious, and the reason for that is to get a lot of bones, which meant I could use this thing super easily, which meant I could get a ton of carrots, which meant I could do some trading with the farmers, and also breed these guys up. If we come over here, the amount of these guys is absolutely insane at this point. Let's have a look. Like, there's 55 of them-ish there. I mean, it says 65, and then if we zoom in, it says 55, so... I don't actually know if uh, which one, which number is correct, because... Uh, being in the non-zoomed-in view may account for, like, 10 different entities that are randomly around. Um, so it might be safer to say 55, but uh, yeah, I've been doing that, which has meant I'd be able to look for some better uh, trades. Uh, the main trade I have been looking for at the moment is a, vi uh, a, a librarian with a... Um, unbreaking 3 trade, I think it is, and if I can get one with Silk Touch... Um, as an actual trade, that'll be pretty nice. I mean, I have pickaxes that have, uh, for 12 emeralds that have Silk Touch as a base enchantment, uh, on it. But if I'm going to be doing it for other tools, like s shovels and axes and stuff, I would like to have the book, preferably. So we'll have to look into that. Especially since I can't actually get diamond shovels that have pre-enchanted stuff. Those are actually going to have to be crafted by me. Uh, so we might actually end up making a loss in theory on these guys, unless we do the gold for diamonds trade that we were on about uh or we might just not do diamond shovels or uh helmets leggings or boots because we can do chest plates uh, but the other ones do cost us and my god there are a lot of pumpkins here so this is the main one i've been working on um basically as i said i've, I've got a lot of villagers which meant i can come down here and i was able to get a farmer villager which is very nice and this guy is super nice uh, he's currently locked out of his trade, annoyingly, uh, but he has got the eight emeralds for, or eight uh, pumpkins for an emerald, which is in fact the best trade you can actually get. Uh, now, you may have noticed, obviously, these guys are up there, which means you think this is full. Now, it's not. Nowhere near. Um, it's basically got like two and a half, like nearly three, pretty much, chests left. Now, I ran into a slight issue with this entire thing recently. That being that if we come over here, these are all full, perfectly fine. All the hoppers are full, I can guarantee you that. Now if we come back here and try and have a look uh, at... Where is it again? Which one is it? Oh, I'm going to have to deal with... Oh, God damn it. Okay, apparently none of that went through. Okay. I'm alright with that. Right, so, basically, what you can see from this area, and really what is, is being shown, is the fact that this is our torch tower for the build. This is the torch tower for the front and, I think, right pistons of the build. And, obviously, this gets, um, you know, I think... Yeah, this is where that repeater is we were worrying about previously, which goes into this block here. Now, that's not an issue. That's being powered. That doesn't really matter. What the issue is, is by default, this is powering this block, which means that this block, the hopper, is not able to transfer anything unless it does 
the well the only time this is able to transfer is the small tiny amount of time where this is off unpowering this which means that this one can transfer this is full this is not so at some point in the future we are definitely going to have to worry about that and fix that whole thing up but for now that's not really oh that's not good uh, for right now that is not something our, uh, that our priority is for so we are going to where did I I'm missing like so many blocks did I did I get dropped into here ah there we go for some reason I thought I had some sort of uh hopper not hopper chain uh like a filter system on the hoppers so I was, that's why I was checking the hopper not the chest but uh, yeah at some point in the future we need to fix that because as you can see it's already starting to uh, buffer near the top so what I'm probably gonna have to do is just uh, well I think the easiest way of fixing this is dragging it back a layer which means it gets put here which kind of sucks and I kind of don't want to do that because of the way the whole land is, sh is shaped uh, but I might be able to sort of push back a few blocks and make it work I think that is entirely possible uh, but if I can find a different way to do it then I'm gonna hopefully do that because I don't want to have to re remake that thing it kind of sucks so next thing I want to do is uh, quickly check the shops over in the oh Milan has done some work I don't know if that, how much spoilery that is uh, I don't know if his video will be up by the time I put mine up but I just want to quickly check my two shops uh, first I want to check the shop in terms of oh I should check the book shouldn't I nobody does I need to I need to really uh, really put a like an example in there or maybe do a video a video dedicated to it to show the guys how to do it but um, yeah that shops fine this shop does have a few of the items I wanted in here so that's good I actually did not take them back which is nice uh, because I wanted to do a bit of work to this place because it's just been kind of sat here um, we have our primary shop but as you can see not really many people are buying from it I don't think many people on the server probably want mycelium and I mean they might want mushrooms uh, but I feel like they're kind of confused by it um, so yeah um, we need a way of making a secondary income now again that's our priority if this ever goes out of stock if these both go out of stock in the same time this is our priority that's kind of how it works uh, on server however our priority right now since that's not really got much going on with it is to do some stuff here now what I thought we'd do today is not the interior because that's for another day once we've got everything sort of in but I want to do the exterior and I want to try a few things uh, with this and it's gonna be a bit of a style I've never done before so we've got stone I was about to pick that up but I realized there's stone there already um, so we have some gravel cobblestone and some string oh and actually there's another few things I want to get so let me go quickly get those all right so we got those blocks I was on about those three blocks that we needed or are gonna try and use somewhat are as follows so we got some iron ore some coal ore and some gold ore uh, just because I want to make it so that um, you know it looks like a maybe like a cavey type thing because again this is this is a pickaxe shop primarily until we buy you know bring in some other stock so I like to have it showing the things that you'd mine with a pickaxe so you're gonna be mining cobble you're not necessarily going to be mining gravel but you're going to have gravel you know seen throughout your time uh you're going to have be mining iron coal and gold and since it's going to be like we're going to be selling uh silk touch pickaxes as well i think it's also good to have like you know show that we have a silk touch pickaxe ourselves by putting the coal ore here um sort of thing i think it might be i don't think it's going to convey that much i think it's just gonna be like oh there's a coal ore but like very low level sort of thing it's like oh you know he's had to mine that up he's he's got his own stock his own inventory so of course he's going to be able to provide for me as well um so there's one thing that uh you may be thinking which is this is all all of these blocks here bar the four down here and technically these three as well have no supports under them uh and the, maybe these four up here um have no support on them how the hell are we going to put gravel there now that's where string comes in handy because the plan is and i use this the only time i've used string other than this other than tripwire hooks and stuff is to stop vines growing at a certain level but in theory 
we can put a piece of string there. You can't really see it. It's very nice. And then we can put a bit of gravel there. And now we've got a bit of floating gravel. So that's pretty damn cool. So what I'm going to do is just kind of throw in a few blocks here and there. Uh, see how it kind of ends up looking. Uh, maybe change a few things around after that. And uh, yeah, I just don't want it to be plain, I guess. And maybe we can put some gravel up here as well. I think that might look kind of cool. So if we just sort of do, you know, that. Ah, oh, that kind of becomes more visible then. Once you do that. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. Like this one you can never see. But that one you can. Maybe if we do it over here and then you're never really gonna... You're gonna be like, oh... I don't know, that actually looks really bad. I don't know why that's so visible compared to this one. Maybe it's because this is like level with me, so I'm never gonna be under it. So gravel's gonna, I, I think, primarily have to stay maybe here minimum, like, or maximum. Like, because you can't really see that unless you're actually trying to look for it, I think. Uh, I don't think many people are going to come up and be like, hmm, let's critique it. It's gonna be like, oh, I need to go in the shop. Admittedly, that's a bit slow. I might need to tweak a few things with that, but... Um, or I might need to get it triggered a bit earlier. Like, trigger the door a tiny bit earlier. Or may maybe we could have, like... You could have it so that, like, the pith the pressure plate's here and it opens both doors. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, but then you got to worry about interior. It's a bit awkward. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. Let's get on to getting this done. Oh, well this is great luck, I just mined this block to put a coal block here, and there is a coal block here, so... I guess it works, it really does. Uh, so this is how much I've got so far. Um, it's looking a bit weird, like, I think it's because I'm making it, and it's been so early since I've made it, uh, that I, I'm just like, oh, that's obviously been placed, sort of thing. Um, might be... I actually don't know. It might be the lack of cobble, it might still look a bit too clean, maybe these are too close, and uh, I'm not sure about having the three iron next to each other. But normally you find iron, iron in clusters, so I was thinking that, and the reason I haven't done the gold is because, well, two reasons. One, I have nine gold, admittedly I have a stack back in the chest at uh, base, but gold is our currency on the server, so I don't want to actually use it too much. Um, you know, and, you know, obviously, uh, the total threat of someone stealing it, which I definitely don't think is going to happen, but uh, you never know. I mean, things happen. Um, I am going to test here quickly, though. Gravel there, because... No, okay, I really don't like that. I was going to I was gonna say gravel there because... Whoa! I broke it. How did I... You can't break- you're not supposed to be able to break it that fast. Like, that was the issue I was having. I've just broken the thing that I thought was unbreakable. Oh my god, that's bad. Okay. Rightio then. That shouldn't be possible. I'm just pointing that out. Um, so let me just put those back and... Okay, so it is technically possible if you go over it too fast. So I guess don't go over it too fast. <laughs> right, that was a real scare for a moment. I might as well keep these open as well. Um, so yeah, I guess there's still a bit of trouble with that door that I need to fix, uh, potentially. If anything goes wrong, then I guess I'll know, because I'll have a look in here pretty much every day once it's open. But yeah, I'm going to carry on with this and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I think I have a design that looks okay for the moment. We might make refinements over time. But, let's quickly sort of reverse back into it. Um, yeah, as I said, I might make refinements on it at, you know, in time, but I think for now it, it portrays the message that we're trying to make for the moment. So, three, two, one. Oh, God, overshot. Here, so, I've noticed I'm using coal to supplement a lot of things, because obviously coal is, is kind of more common, uh, but I have less of the block. Uh, I think I only had 18, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, I had 16. Okay, either way. Um, basically, yeah, for right now I'm still a bit iffy about it. Maybe I want to bring in some uh, mossy stone, I'm thinking, and maybe some other blocks. Um, I was thinking to bring in diamonds, but I don't have any, so that's uh, 
well, diamond, diamond ore, uh, which I don't have any of, and redstone, um, which, again, I don't have any of because I've been mainly using the re actual redstone, so I might update this with time. Um, I just, I think it's just the fact that the stone is too clean and dominates a bit. I feel like, yeah, the, when you have just one texture sort of overthrowing every all the other textures that it's trying to be, like, garbled with, I think that's the problem um, that we're having. Which kind of sucks, but uh, I guess that's what I get for having smooth stone. Um, but there's, there's probably a different block that I'm not thinking of at the moment that I can put in there. Well, to be honest, I could put diorite, andesite, and uh, granite. I think it's just... Is it granite or granite? Like, surely it's granite, but... All the other ones are eight. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> again, that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, I can I can put those in here as well and, and put a few things uh, together just to kind of break it up again. But uh, that's actually going to be it for this little bit um, because we actually are not going to... Well, actually, I just realized that block was supposed to be there. Well, either way, it doesn't really make a difference. But um, basically, that's going to be it for this little bit for today and the reason for that is just because I uh, you know I'm not gonna, I don't want to do the interior just sort of as a side thing I don't want to primarily focus on that and then do the interior separate uh, you know as a little thing like oh here's five minutes for me in the interior I kind of want to make a yeah you know, it's kind of a big deal having the interior um, I think because it's where everybody's going to be looking so that's a big thing next I just want to quickly check he is selling logs which is great um, so we are probably going to buy them out pretty quickly. Um, and I think it's quite good because there was kind of a little... Th oh. Koala's Bakery. Oh, that's going to be cool. I I really wanted to build here. I'll say this now. I really wanted to build here at the beginning of the server. Except that big tree really stopped me wanting to do it. So <laughs> at least someone's, you know, going to use it. Um, but yeah, this place is looking really nice. It's only, it's not been that long on the server in all, like, in total, and it's looking really, really nice. I don't know if it's the extra green from the starter, from a resource pack that's helping it or anything like that, but, uh, yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, I'm really, really happy with how it has been. I think that might need a bit of a, like, you know, better entrance, maybe. Uh, maybe that should be grass. Maybe that can happen. I'm not sure if that's a protected area, so I might be able to do that myself. But, yeah, things are really coming together with this thing. I don't really have much to do this episode. There's not really, uh, as I said, I, I like plan before all my episodes, so I haven't really done a lot of planning recently because I've been busy with other things. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't really able to do that, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, in the, in the next episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do again. I'm not really sure uh we might we might try and make that with a skeleton farmer thing um just to have a look at it we might also uh need to think about how we're going to deal with the blaze spawners are there because that's i think my current uh point of uh stopping where it's like do i want to get rid of them and just deal with them that way or do i try and block them off and maybe make something new out of it later um if i can find a different uh fortress i'll probably just destroy them um, but if I find a better fortress with better with a sporting area, I'll just use that one and then destroy the ones there and use the one closer to me. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for it being kind of a bit more of a rambly one and, uh, you know, not it's not a big project like this thing or this thing or whatever. It's just kind of a more laid back thing, helping out the server a little bit with those items and stuff like that and uh, kind of getting me back in the groove of playing because, again, I haven't played in a, in a very little while. So... Uh, yeah, as I said, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>